Going back to school in this heat is no easy feat. Teachers and parents are trying to make sure kids stay cool and hydrated as they head back to class in the Newhall School District in the Santa Clarita Valley. KCAL Lines Rachel Kim shows us how they're coping. I was about to melt down. Felt like I was going to die. Mackenzie and Michaela Clear clearly had a rough first day back at Meadows Elementary School because of the almost triple digit right, temps. Bye -bye. Mom Kimberly admits after school there was some confusion when she went to pick them up. I'm going to have to do better planning because she comes out this back gate. She went to the front gate, and all I kept thinking is my poor child is melting. And I had to refill my, my bottle like two times. Mason Shields' mom made sure he would stay hydrated for his first day of first grade. We were clear with him about making sure that he drinks water throughout the day. When we did the back to school night uh, tour, we showed him where the water fountains were. So make sure our kids are staying hydrated, make sure, sure they're taking breaks, and make sure the areas that they're playing in have enough uh, shade for them. Dr. Darren Privet is an ER physician at Henry Mayo Hospital in Santa Clarita. He says school officials and parents need to know that young children are more susceptible to heat-related injury and illness, as well as sunburn. Especially when our kids are outside playing, we want to make sure that we're covering them with, uh, with sunscreen. Any type of playground equipment that's metal, that's exposed to the heat, can get really hot, which can cause contact burns. It's going to get worse. September is going to get worse, for sure. Pamela Murray's son, Max, started second grade at Meadows Elementary and is glad to know the school is prepared and taking precautions. Uh, I just go inside and get like air conditioning and go in the shade while I'm outside. New Hall Elementary School District says on days when the temps are over 94 degrees, they encourage children to drink plenty of water and wear hats outside the classroom. They also modify the activities in physical education classes. The children are also encouraged to play quiet games or to read a book in the library or shady areas of the playground. Seeking shade and staying hydrated and Potentially finding playtime inside is a great solution. In Santa Clarita, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.